Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel, joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun, live here at Highline Community College in scenic Des Moines, Washington. That's right, Washington. Washington? There's the Des Moines in Washington? There is. And they even say it with an S here, and I don't think oh, you're supposed look to. Oh, how embarrassing I am. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, um, today we're going to do take some numbers and make data bars. It's as if we take a histogram and turn it on its side. So I'm going to use conditional formatting, so which makes this kind of like a, it makes it a cell chart. Now I'm going to copy this format. I'm going to use this button right here and then click right there. And then with this range still highlighted, the active cell, I'm going to type in equal sign, click on that cell, and then control enter to populate all those cells with that formula. Now I'm going to highlight this range and simply use conditional formatting data bars. Now this came in in 2007. Solid fill was in seven. Now they have these totally cool gradient ones. I'm going to use this and look what it does. Data bars show the relative position by the height of the bar. If I change this to four it'll, or five, it'll become the tallest five. one in the set. All right, uh, throw it over to you. Cool. All Excel. right. OK, so those are really cool if you have Excel 2007. But what if you don't have Excel 2007 and you want to do this exact same thing? Well, there's been a way to do this in the past. It's called the REPT function. The REPT function will take a number or a character. And I'm going to use the pipe character, the pipe character, and say that I want to repeat that some number of times. And looking at the data here, I think I want to repeat it about 10 times the value to the left of me. So t 10 times uh, B2. And vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Driving the. Vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. That's hilarious. Turn that off right there. Stop. Vertical line, vertical line. You know, that actually might be too wide. So maybe what we want to do is times five. You just have to figure out the right scaling for that. And you get your uh, data bars right there. Actually, if you have plenty of time, you can go through wingdings and wingdings two and webdings. And uh, there's a nice little skinny bar that works a little bit better than that pipe. But I never take the time to find that. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> of course, this looks a lot better and is much easier. But if you're stuck at a company where they're not upgrading yet, uh, you're still back in Excel 97 or something like that. Or you're a stuffy statistician that doesn't like color and wants to see the official ah, yes, there plain you go. bars. Right. Of course. And you could use anything in there. I mean, you could use, uh, I don't know, like, what else would make sense? Well, an asterisk or something. Yes. Oh, look at that. But actually, that looks better, doesn't it, than the uh, pipe. What are else? Man, the repeat function. Sweet. R-E-P-T, repeat function. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We're having a lot of fun here. I hope you're having just as much fun. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.